As everyone across the nation felt the effects after that terrorist attack, local law enforcement had to step up patrolling their communities. I sat down with Lisbon Police Chief Mike Abraham on what changes he saw 20 years ago. Two decades ago, Lisbon Police Chief Mike Abraham was the chief of police in Selineville, along with being a part-time officer in Lisbon. On a trip home from West Virginia, he was listening to what had happened on the radio. The lines for gas were way, uh, they, they were a mile long. Um, people waiting to get in, you know, there was only one gas station at that time in Selineville, so um, people were afraid that we weren't going to be able to get gas and groceries and, you know, things like that. There were concerns what could happen in a small community. On the south end of Lisbon sits a fertilizer plant. Because of these events, Lisbon police had to keep a closer eye on it. People that want to bomb, like, our nuke plants or our fertilizer plant or, you know, f fertilizer, you know, is everybody makes bombs out of fertilizer and things like that. The federal government enforced that local law enforcement check these places more often. Lisbon police officers had to check them out about three to four times a day. Officers had to go through and, and check and make sure that all the fertilizer was locked up, um, that they had to put padlocks on all that stuff, which bef prior to 9-11 was just, was just out in the open. While doing this, it brought on some anxiety for officers. You wouldn't think that somebody around here could do that. Um, but then again, you would never think that somebody would fly airplanes into buildings either. The fertilizer plant still gets checked out about twice a shift.